Yes, ma'am. A little bit about um, a healthy lifestyle in terms of uh, estrogen. To, yeah, in terms of estrogen and um, el el eliminating cancer. Well, so here's the thing. Um, I strongly believe, I mean, so we're on the cusp, basically, of a change in medicine. Like, you know, medicine takes a really long time to adapt to what's going on in the research world. And I really believe that we will be using genomic testing or even more regular genetic testing in the future. We're just not there yet. So, so, so my whole pitch is really about customizing your individual health plan based on your genetic profile. So for example, we can say that most breast, you can't say that this has anything to do with breast cancer risk. What you can say is that most garden variety breast cancer people have mutations on these genes, but how many, which one, it's on an individual basis. So, so, so I can't generalize you know, on what you're supposed to be doing to maintain good estrogen health, because I believe you should be getting a genetic test to figure that out. But in principle, and if you have, like I do, like mutations on every one of these genes, in theory, um, keeping a low BMI is important, and that's because your, your own body, like so estradiol is produced by your ovaries, estriol is produced by your, by your fat, by your adipose tissue, right? So keeping a low BMI is important for a breath, for me, I, I fail completely at this, but <clears throat> it is in theory important. And then bioresponse DIMPRO or indole-3-carbonyl, which are essentially from the mustard family. They are very concentrated broccoli, essentially, cruciferous vegetables, cauliflower, mustard, et cetera. Um, strong antioxidants, fish oil, SAMe, people debate about that. But you know, you're talking about general general things. A lot of people already are taking these things. And then depending on your, your genetic profile, taking more time to figure out <clears throat> what kind of exposure you're getting in our general American environment. Um, because we do, like Europeans are protected basically from the chemicals that we're exposed to on a daily basis. And how, how careful you have to be about that in my mind, depends on your genetic profile. So for example, you know, I was talking about the mystery, the mystery, a lot of the women who I met, they were, they were terrified when they were first diagnosed. They were terrified of like the soap they were using, of like what shampoo to wear. I mean, it was, it was crazy. And um, I think the most important thing is to figure out what your genetic profile is so that you can figure out if you should be taking hormone replacement. Either, bio, either bioidentical, natural stuff, over the counter that you're getting from Whole Foods, or, or the real thing, you know, pharmaceutical. I think that's, that's the first step because that stuff's really, really strong. The rest of it is like drip, drip by drip. Does that answer your question? <laughs>